Good morning everyone and welcome to another one of our SPAC lessons. Remember that for today's lesson you will need a book and a pencil or a pen to complete the activities as we go through it. Today's learning objective is using fronted adverbials. Okay. So which type of adverbial has been added to the main clause? I want you to tell me whether it's a time adverbial, a place adverbial or a descriptive adverbial. Post the video here to complete the activity. Okay, welcome back. Now, let's see what the answers are. So, within the grand hall, coma, it's a place adverbial. Completely exhausted, coma, it's a descriptive frontal adverbial. Proudly, coma, is a descriptive frontal adverbial. After the battle had ended, coma, is the time adverbial. Many years ago, coma, is time, again, and holding his broken crown, is again descriptive. Okay, remember the comma. Now, even though these have not been underlined or in red, I want you to consider that the comma is part of the frontal adverbial, okay? So that you always, always, always remember after every frontal adverbial, there is a comma, okay? Now, match the adverbials to the most suitable main clause. Let's go. A, whispering quickly and nervously, B, jumping around like monkeys, C, silently but viciously. And we have one, the children played on the climbing frame, two, the beast flicked its long tongue, and three, the robbers made their final plans. Have a go at this activity, post a video here to complete it. Okay, welcome back everyone. Let's check the answers. As you can see, A goes with the third one. B goes with the first one and C with the second one, okay, as these are the most suitable combination. Now, in this activity, you have to fill in the gap with a frontal adverbial that tells us when the main clause had happened, okay? So it's when, a time frontal adverbial. How about this activity? There are several types of answers, so choose whichever you think is suitable. Stop the video here and complete the activity. Well, come back. Let's check what I have written down. As I said, there are different examples, various examples or answers. I have written down, after working on it for weeks, comma, the artist finally completed her picture. And in the second one, I've put that, as the deadline, deadline approached, comma, the final decision was made. Okay? Now, on this activity, you have to choose the most appropriate frontal adverbial to complete the sentence below. The dragon awoke suddenly from its sleep. Have a think about this and write down the answer. Is it A, B or C? Let's check. That's it. It's not knowing why, comma, the dragon awoke suddenly from its sleep. Okay? Now, on this activity, you have to write a main clause that could follow each of the frontal adverbials. Again, there are various answers on this one. Pause the video. And we'll check the answers now. Okay? So what I've written is, in front of the huge castle door, coma, the king and his army prepared to enter. Remember the full stop at the end. And in the second one, I put that scared for his life, coma, he hid silently behind the tree, waiting for the danger to pass. Full stop. Okay? In this activity, you have to change the sentence below so that each adverbial becomes a fronted adverbial, okay? So what I need you to do is to look for the adverbial in both sentences and to put it at the front to make it a fronted adverbial. Again, remember that after every single fronted adverbial, there is a, that's right, coma, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to complete this, post the video here and come Please play whenever you're ready to continue. Okay, welcome back. Let's check the way I've done it. Okay, so with tremendous heart and soul, comma, we send the chorus to our favorite song. Okay, and this is a descriptive from the Bible. It tells us how it happened. And beneath the rugged cliffs, the enormous giants emerged from the sea. Again, they come after from the adverbial, and this is a place from the adverbial. It tells you where okay, this happened. On this activity, you have to use the word bank below and write a sentence with a fronted adverbial. 
Remember to use correct punctuation. Here is reminding you to use your capital letters, your comma after your frontal adverbial and your full stop. Okay? Bear those three things in mind. Have a go at this activity. Post the video. If you have questions of whether yours is correct or not, please do send it over and I'll get back to you. Okay? Right. Let's check the answer. If you have not done it yet, remember, post the video here and then check the answers with us. Okay, so what I've done is under the setting sign, comma, the forgotten city shimmered. Okay? On the last activity, again, reasoning activity, so we need to explain why we say whatever we say. It's asking you which of the frontal adverbials has been used correctly and explain your answer. Now we've got A. Next year, comma, the mathematician solved the puzzle. B, with great concentration, the mathematician solved the puzzle. And C, sat under the spotlight, the mathematician solved the puzzle. Okay, now let's check our answer. B is the correct one because if you actually post a video here and write down the reasons why B is correct if you don't have B. Okay, have you done that now? Great, let's check. B is correct because the front of the variable is in the correct tense. It explains how the mathematician solved the puzzle and correct punctuation has been added. Okay, so in the first one, it doesn't really make sense as the tense starts saying in the next year, so future tense, and then it says solved, which is showing a verb in past tense. So tense does not make sense with the rest of the sentence. Also, we've used correct punctuation. What goes after every single front of the verbial? That's right. A comma goes after every single front of the verbial. Okay? So it could have been C if after spotlight we had a comma, but because we didn't, that's not correct. Okay, everyone? Now, hope you all understood everything. If you didn't, please, again, do let me know. I'm here to help you. Okay? Have a lovely day. I hope you enjoyed today's back lesson.